Holy shit, it has been a while. Hello there, everybody. I'm Sabah Night, you make a nightmare. And once again, welcome back to the delightful world of Golden Sun that I have neglected. But we're back to America. I can actually get back to playing this game. Anyway, we're now in the village of Kale, but there's technically something else I can do. I mean, sure, I can explore Kale right now, but apparently the bridge north of here is uh fixed, which means I can go back to Vault. Necessarily, that's not a bad idea in my mind. Because now I can go get a couple of things that I missed out on. You dare interrupt me! Cease, you tiny mouse! Oh, my lord, I am busting through all of these guys. Damn. Ah. <sighs> It actually feels nice being back here again. Oh, right. So, reveal. I have been informed. Now I don't have to worry about searching through all of the items or pots through here. Apparently, reveal will do that for me now. Like, they'll tell me if there is an item hidden inside one of the, uh... Well, I guess we'll have to... I think it's probably because I've already searched through almost everything here, so... Although, maybe it's inside the actual well. Problem is, I can't really get inside. Oh my god. Hello! Right as I was on the move, I took you for you just had to get in my way. I don't take too kindly to that. Thankfully, I'll just have to keep. So just say. Good. I needed something to take out my frustrations on. And I found a mimic. Perfect. Oh, you asshole. Oh, good job, Ivan. And the only thing of value from that was a vial. Well, to be fair, having a large amount of healing items will benefit me in the long run. Ooh, that's this literal old dun little small little dungeon here. I like. Can't be that simple. Okay, never mind. I guess it was. Oh boy, we get to do this shit again. Bit of a goof on my end. That's okay. Though. I got where I needed to go. I think. Oh, ghosts. Ghost mage. Well, right now, I need to focus on uh, just. Basic ass attacks. Ooh. Ooh, decent damage. Enemies that are an actual threat. There we go. Hunting! Yeah, but it did nothing. Corona! Ah, so it's Garrett's fault that we got blocked. Well, I should've gotten that Let's see, where does this lead me? Takes me down to a door I haven't, okay. Okay, that makes too much sense. Nice. Very nice. Whoa. 
Oh. Easy. Easy. Oh, you sneaky bitch. Nailed it! Just in time, too. Oh, Lordy Lou, I did not. That was, that's an evil puzzle. I'm just gonna say that, that's evil. That's about as evil as this ghost. All right, let's, wait, that takes me back over here. Oh, I literally just opened up that door. Okay. All right. Then let's actually explore this underwater area now. Er, the the lack of water, quote, quote unquote. Oh, it's down here. Got it. Durable little bastards. Yes! Join me! Grant me your power! The Venus Genie Sap joined Isaac. Oh boy. We got four earth, four wind, and four water. Now we just need a fourth fire and we're good. All right, Sap. Attack a foe and steal HP. That makes too much sense. I'll gain the power of Gaia, though. Fascinating. Like, the Earth Goddess Gaia. Huh. Kind of a shame I can't jump down from here. Oh, well. Well, that was satisfying. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Wait a minute. I just realized something. We just got back from Vault, yeah? Now that I'm here, and the bridge is back, can I go back to Vale? Like, the, the starting place, where I began. Oh my lord. Hey, this is Isaac. He came back home, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to move. I, uh. It's. Wow. It's, a, it's actually been a while. You surprised us, Isaac! You're back sooner than anyone expected! The eruption created a terrible mess on the other side of Mount Aleph. The river of lava burnt everything on the other side of Mount Aleph. Oh, Jesus. Looks like you made some friends in your travels, Isaac. I'm glad to see that. Isaac's new friends look interested. I wonder if they're adapts like us. Probably. Oh, wait. They are. 
the river in town grew so hot after Mount Aleph erupted. Everyone got excited thinking that there were hot springs on the mountain, but then the river cooled down again. The eruptions must have great power if they can eat a river. D Duh! You... Oi. I sense that Mount Aleph is not the only place to see some strange events. Crossing the continent must indeed be difficult. Did you see anything interesting on your trip, Isaac? Quite a bit, actually. Oh, really? That must have been exciting. Maybe I can join you on your next journey. Yes! <laughs> really? I was just kidding. You don't need to be so polite. But I wanna! Join my party, old man. You traveled around the eastern edge of the continent? You must be exhausted! I wonder if Isaac will continue his journey. It must be quite difficult. Mm. Every now and then. Aren't you glad to see the village hasn't changed? A little bit. The veil will never change, so you can come home whenever you like. That is not how that's supposed to go. I, I meant to read your mind, woman. Oh, it's you, Isaac. You came back, huh? You've come all the way home just to stay here? Are you sure? Oh, I see. You don't want to get used to staying at home. In that case, you're more than welcome. Oh. Well, if it isn't Isaac, you've grown so much, I also almost didn't recognize you. Does Isaac know where the door was struck with an illness? What? All right, let's get the dialogue here. We don't want to miss it. I wonder if we can play with Isaac and his pals again like we used to. Welcome back, Isaac. It's good to have you home. I see you made many friends on your journey. I wish I could be like you, Isaac. Eh, grow, give it a few more years. You'll be able to go on our journey on your own. As long as you got a sword or something. I want to go on a journey and make new friends, too. Yeah, you can. The crack of Mount Ellis northwest side is widening. At this rate, the whole continent was split in half. The eruption caused a crack to open on Mount Ellis northwest side. <sighs> what happened to Jenna? Haven't you found her yet? Isaac, when did you come back? After the way you left, I thought I might never see you again. I'm very happy to see you. Aww. Oh, that's nice. We have just the gear you need, huh? Just herbs and antidotes, that's fine. Thanks, ma'am. We've seen many monsters lately. It's become quite dangerous outside the village. That's why weapons are selling well. Man, if only the blacksmiths can make better weapons. I wish I could learn the secret to making good weapons. I heard you were back. I guess the rumor was true. Are you going to tell us all the great tales from your journey? Oh, it's you, Isaac. Came back. Yep. Vale won't be very quiet anymore. But I'm glad to see you. Your mother Dora will be too. Yeah, I gotta go see her. But what are you guys selling? I'm guessing you're... Yeah, nothing really changed here. I'll use a wooden stick. Actually, wait. Artifacts? Uh, Elven rapier, bandit sword, magic rod. Literally the same things. Okay. Alright, where's my mom? Oh my, Isaac. How have you been? I'm not going to tell you. Oh my! When did you return to Vale, Isaac? Oh, it's gonna be years before we're grown up, but Isaac's back already? Oh, you're just visiting. <laughs> you got me surprised. I promised I'd become a great blacksmith before Isaac comes back again. It's a man's promise and I have to keep it. I believe you'll do great as a blacksmith. Err. Welcome home, Isaac. Oh, what happened? Why are you walking around with some girl who's not Jenna?
why does it matter? We're not dating. She's just a girl. That shy girl with Isaac sure looks like a nice girl. Oy. Besides, I'm walking around with more guys in my party. Don't you think that would be a little bit... Well... Eh. Where's my mom? The great healers are too afraid to go to Soul Sanctum anymore. They have nothing to fear. Their synergy should protect them. The healers are supposed to guard Soul Sanctum. How can they not go in? Ah, I'll break in. I'm totally sh I'm I assure you nothing crazy happened in Soul Sanctum. Nothing crazy at all. I promise. Huh. I can't remember which one's my house. The Northwest faced a Mount Alec was all scorched by the river of lava. They say the lava looked like the bowels of the earth that split forth. Ew. The bowels of the earth. Nobody wants to know about that. Ah! Hey! Where'd that sensor stone go? It's gone! Huh? All that's left is a big hole in my roof. But the memory of the eruption won't go away, even once I fixed it. The impact of the eruption was too much for the people to fail. Huh. Oh. Uh, dude, it's in here. Bio. 123 coins? Hell yeah. Huh. But yeah, there's a synergy stone in there, dude. I'm leaving it in there. Ah. The beautiful village of Vale. May as well talk to these people first. I wonder why we haven't seen you travel since the eruption. Do you know why, Isaac? Maybe. Oh, the bridge to the south was ruined. Huh, that explains it. Then wait, how the hell did you get here? Oh, it's fixed. Damn. Having no travelers is no fun at all. Yeah, especially if you're stuck around the same people for extended periods of time for a bit. Oh. Those look like they need repairs. Just say. Is it? Is it the innkeeper? Is it time to eat? Mom? Um? No. <coughs> and who? <coughs> the funny thing is, I'm actually coughing. Isaac? Are you finally home? Have you completed the, your mission? Not yet, but uh, I heard about you. Are you okay? You haven't, have you? Have you forgotten your promise, Isaac? You promised you wouldn't come back until your quest was complete, right? Yes. You broke your promise because you were worried about me? Who told you I was ill? The mayor? Or... <coughs> was it... The innkeeper? Uh... surprised to see me in bed? You can't get out of your promises because you're worried about me. <laughs> I... <coughs> I just caught a cold. <coughs> That's all. But I'm fine now. <coughs> Look! That's us got the same energy as... Don't worry, guys. I'm fine. Dude, you're missing an arm. It's... It's... I'm fine. <gasps> You're going to collapse, ma'am. See, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go on, do your best to complete your quest, okay? Okay, Mom. I'm reading your mind. I'm 
sorry I seem so harsh, Isaac. I'm so happy to see you. I'll be waiting for you to come home for good. My mom's sick, huh? Oh, that alchemy that Crane was always researching. If it was something else, better left alone. I can't read your mind? Even if the eruption had no relation to alchemy, I still don't want Crane to come back to the village. Wow. Earthquakes do strike once in a while. It gives me the chills every time. Every time the ground shakes, I worry there will be another eruption. Understandable. Oh, hello. Oh, the, it's this pot. Six coins. I just, I just robbed you guys of your life savings. Hi. Hey, how you been? Oh, Garrett and Isaac. What happened? You're back already? Already? What kind of way is that to greet us? But they said you might never come back. Oh god, they're spreading rumors about us, aren't they? Yep. And it still seems like you're not back for good, like you're just visiting. Really? Is that what it seems like? Yeah, you and your friends. You all look like you're about to leave. <sighs> you're smarter than you look. I have to shape up while you're gone, right? If not... Hey, the family will be fine as long as you're here. Am I right or what? Absolutely. Take care of your family while I'm gone. Of our family while I'm gone, alright? Whatever you do, you must protect the family while I'm gone. Alright? I'm counting on you. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Yeah. I could go with you if I were a little older. It's not fair. Hmm. Hey. What? Shouldn't we look for Garrett? Why? Isaac still doesn't know about Dora, right? Someone should tell him. <sighs> you miss Garrett, don't you? You're looking for an excuse to find him. W what? No, I just... Oh shit, they're here! Grandma, what's the matter? Are you choking? It's Garrett! What? She must miss Garrett, too. Guys! No, it's really Garrett! Look, look! Huh? Garrett! Mom, Dad, I'm home. Hi, uh, Red, Garrett. Oh, Garrett! Now that's a hell of a reaction to coming home. Grandpa, I'm home. Yes, yes. Did you complete your mission for the wise one? No, not yet. Not yet? Well, I'm glad you're home, if even if just for a little while. You're leaving again soon, aren't you? I'm just glad you're doing well. That's right. Let me introduce you to my new friends. 
Yep. Um, I'm Ivan. Uh, pleased to meet you. I am Mia from Emil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please look after young Garrett for us. Well, enough chit chat. Relax and enjoy your stay here. Okay. That Ivan seems to be a smart boy. I wish you could be more like Ivan, Garrett. What the hell, Grandma? His new friends are all so polite. I'm very happy to see that. Mia is such a nice girl. I wonder who Garrett likes more, Mia or Jenna? Well, we'll find that out probably later. It must be nice to be young and gallivant about with lovely girls. Did you hear us talking about Dora just now? Yeah. Dora, Dora told us not to worry, that it's just a fever. Uh, don't worry too much, Isaac. Uh, it wasn't too smart to talk about Dora without checking for Isaac. I wish we could tell him the truth. My mom's dying, isn't she? I hope he didn't get sick during your travels. Garrett always eats too much. He always makes his mother worry. Mom! Garrett seems to have grown up a bit on this difficult journey. Ah, uh, fuck, is my mom dying? Can I just have a fucking break, please? It's been a while. You're back? Have you gone to see Dad yet? Yeah, we saw him. Really? <laughs> he must have been happy to see you. He's been worried. He's been so worried about you. So have I. Sis. Don't get me wrong. I, I was just worried you might get into trouble. Because... You know, you're not that bright. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, sis. Oh, this is awkward. So are you home for good, or...? Not just yet. You're leaving... again? Don't push yourself too hard when you leave again. are working so hard, but I'm worried. Are you really all right? Well, no, now I'm ultra worried about my mom. Is there the danger's gone even though the earthquakes continue? Well, clearly the danger's not gone yet. The smoke of that olive isn't thick at all. It looks okay now. Well, for now, something bad's probably gonna happen. I mean, I really shouldn't be saying that out loud, actually, in front of these people, but... <laughs> Isaac, are your new friends adept by any chance? Yeah. So, there are others besides Valiants who have been granted synergy? Why is it that different adepts have different powers? Is it because they meditate more like uh, the Great Healer? It's not fair! I want to have strong synergy, but I hate working for it! Well, then you'll never have strong energy be or synergy because you're lazy! I see a beautiful girl has joined Isaac on his journey. I wonder what Jenna will think when she sees this. <laughs> Dear Lord, you people. It will be difficult to reach Soul Sanctum until Mount Elif returns to Bob. I figure as much. He'll probably just offer his services instead of talking to me like a normal person. Can I even go up here? Ooh. It's very dangerous to go beyond here when Mount Elif is active. Leave immediately! I am all alone in this dangerous place. How can the great healer treat me like this? Well, you're dead. Bye. That dude's probably gonna die a very horrible death if they just leave him there. Ah, I felt another one. Leave it going on for a while. I can't even sleep at night. Oh, I can't stop these earthquakes. I wish they'd stop. They're probably not gonna stop until we fix things. 
I can just keep on going because there'll be people. Oh, hey! I can't stop wondering what lies beyond this fence. Oh, yeah. I can figure this out now. I have a feeling my adventures will begin once I pass this fence. We shall see. You must have so many memories of this cottage, don't you? Yeah. I thought so. I used to visit Creighton a lot, Isaac. I wonder why I feel so lonely whenever I come here. I wasn't even that close to Creighton. Probably because he really was a part of this village, even if people didn't like his whole alchemy shtick. It would be nice if there was like a secret like passageway somewhere inside that building. Oh well. Time for the thing we've been I've been wanting to try out now. Lift. Cat undead. I'm pretty sure I got this in the bag. Yeah, it won't take me too long. Especially whenever I got cool shit like this. See, they won't last very long. Behold, shaved ice! Hey, yo, Gary is now level 18 guard, master of the guard's flare storm. Probably don't have access to the abilities I need to make it through this cave just yet. Mount Atlas eruption was so powerful it caused the continent to crack. The earthquakes aren't caused by eruptions. I think they're the continent splitting in two. You know, you're probably right. Just saying. You might be right on that idea. Okay, so my mom is sick, so now I gotta figure out what I need to do. I, the only thing I can think of is going back to that water tower to get some of that healing water. But do I have time to do that? Oh, God. All right, all right. I may do that during the next session. 
Yeah. Let's make our way back over to where I need to be. So right now, I can't do anything in that cave. All right. Let's actually explore Kayla now. Come here. Welcome. Take a look at our fine weapons. Depends. What you got? A claymore. <laughs> okay. The battle rapier, great axe, and battle mace. All right. Oh. Wow, the axe is actually strong. The Vulcan axe is much stronger. But I kind of want to keep the Arctic blade specifically because of its ability to randomly use ice and lower attack power. I think that's better. Oh. Mere five point difference. Well, I guess those five points could come in handy, but then I just sell the Vulcan Alright, you know what? What artifacts you got? Elven Rapier, Bandit Sword, Magic Rod, which is Frost. The Frost Wand, that's new. Holy shit! Give that to her! money if we left more good weapons here. Those were good weapons! We soldiers protect the peace in Kaylee with our lives. Our job requires us to judge whether to allow a visitor into Kaylee. Welcome to Kaylee. You may enter so long as you do not disrupt the peace. Ah, this young warrior has honest eyes and a good demeanor. A man like that is never evil. Maybe? The bridge to the north was destroyed by lava. Thankfully, it's been rebuilt since then. Lord Hammond's soldiers went to Bolt after the bridge was rebuilt. The palace has been, uh, very quiet ever since. Wait, this is your place of prayer? I come here to spread goodwill, but Lord Hammond seems to be the source of all their goodwill. Welcome, weary travelers. Hell, evil. Fear not! None of your commanders is being haunted. Ah, thank goodness that enemy did not even manage to haunt me at least once. I am lucky on that regard. Ooh, hello. Well, people say Lord Hammond went north from Vault at the Mount Elephant erupted. No one knows what happened to him or his caravan after that. I can't put the rumors about Lord Hammond being captured by thieves out of my head. But the Lord's wife, Leana, speaks little of it. I had no idea that Lumpa was just north of Vault. It's funny that a city of merchants would be so close to a city of thieves. There are so many rumors now, so no one knows what the truth is. Hi. My son received his knack for business from Lord Hammett. My son is very tight with money, even when it comes to me. I feel like I'm living with a merchant. Actually, he is one. Uh huh. The most important skill for a merchant is the ability to discern quality. Anyone who can do that can be a successful merchant these days. The most important thing is not to betray your customers' trust in you. Lord Hammett's lessons are more precious to me than treasure. They will make me a lot of money! It really does seem like this Hammett guy is actually pretty... kind of chill. Pretty nice. I took your coins! Ooh. This is literally the merchant town, I guess. Makes sense. Kaylee sits at a great crossroads. Oh, you're an old man, sorry. Kaylee sits at a great crossroads. What do you think of my old, my little lady voice? Sean lies east, and Tolby west. This is the perfect place to do business. Well, yeah, it's... Oh my god, that's actually very monetarily smart. 
Hammett chose to build Kaylee here because it's in a prime trading location. Lord Hammett truly is a smart man. Actually, he just makes the most sense. The guests at the end are tourists on their way to see Colosso. It seems like a lot of hassle to travel to Toby just for a carnival. Colosso? Actually, I wish I were going to Colosso. I would have saved, I should have saved my money. Then I'd be on my tour too. I heard a rumor that there's trouble in the Marken Desert. Not anymore. Strange things have been happening all across the land lately. What is the world coming to? Huh? Shit happens. No one's allowed to go to Vault, even though the bridge has been rebuilt. But I doubt it's because of the eruption of Mount Aleph. I'm an adult now. I don't want my father ordering me around. I do not want my son to face any danger. I'm actually grateful for Lady Leona's orders. I don't care how my son feels. I can't allow him to go north. Huh. What's upstairs? Somehow this the north has uh, become the center of much tension lately. Why is that? Well, there was a kidnapping. Three years ago, thieves raided Mount Aleph. It was quite a story. Ever since then, Alpha left the Lord. Is that guy okay? His brain just did something really fucking weird. Ever since the North lost its reputation for being a safe place. A merchant from Vault has been saying many things about the North. Then the soldiers came and took him to Lord Hammett's palace. They say the northern parts are dangerous too. Maybe our town is the only place that's still safe. That's debatable. Lord Hammett is still out with his caravans on business. I wonder where he could be now. Despite his appearance, Lord Hammett can be very rash. That's why I'm worried. Oh, I see a thing that can move, move it up there. I gotta get up there first. But let's keep talking to the people. What do you have? Just the standard stuff. The aqueducts in the Hammett Pass are another reason Kale flourished. Hmm. Lord Hammett's knack for business is the reason Kale has flourished. Lord Hammett's a very honest man who values trust above all. That's probably why he's so respected. Okay, what do you got? I'm sorry, a lot of stuff. Bullshit! Chainmail! Jerkin! Very nice to get myself some upgraded stuff. Everybody will be much stronger. Much stronger. Just, just give me a game ticket. I've got so many game tickets! I came to Kayla because I didn't like Tolby. You wanna know why? Sure. Because Babby, the ruler of Tolby, frightens me. He's ruled Tolby for more than 100 years, they say. That's not possible. Unless he's extending his life artificially. In which case, we have to kill him. Dunes between Kayla and Toby as their leaders. Lord Hammett rules of trust, while Lord Babby rules of force. That can only go so far before somebody just finally just takes matters into their own hands. I'm shocked to hear the righteous thieves of Loompa have gone bad. They say Loompa's grandson is responsible for it. The region north of Vault was once a safe place, but nowadays it's very dangerous. Lunpa was a kind thief. His son is Donpa. He's an honorable thief, too. He stole, but he was just. Lunpa's grandson, Dodampa, is another story. He doesn't even think twice about doing evil. Lunpa's reputation is very bad nowadays. Two honorable thieves. Oh, I'm sorry, a lineage of honorable thieves just destroyed by the actions of one that's attached to said lineage. That is a shame. Honest to goodness shame. Whoa. Hey, 
Anything of value in here I can steal. Did you find what you need in the weapon shop? Uh, yeah. Then you'll like our armor too. <laughs> oh yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for the wonderful upgrades that I purchased from you, good sir. Did I go to the end? No, I did not. Many of the guests here seem to be heading to Toby. Colosso is so common. What's so great about it? Surely Lord Hammond will pop up and Toby. He loves Chuck. He loves Colossal. I was so excited I couldn't sleep last night. I have to keep cool. I want anyone to know this is my first time at Colosso. Too late, I already know. No! I would have entered Colosso if I were only a little younger. What a shame. My animal instincts start waking up as soon as I see the Colossal Battles. Oh, it's a tournament. The Colossal Gladiators are all strong, muscular men. I wonder which warrior will win Colossal this year. I can't wait. Aren't you going to Colosso? You guys are warriors. All warriors dream of winning fame in Colosso. I'm gonna sign up for Colossal as soon as I arrive in Tolby. Maybe more like me, though. Everyone looks forward to going to Tolby once a year. Tolby has many spots to visit besides Colossal, like Tolby Springs. Anything else? I'm exhausted from preparing for this tour. I can't wait till I'm in Tolby and I can rest a bit. Please finish eating if you are taking the tour. We'll be leaving soon. It's been so you can't help it, but many of these folk aren't used to traveling. Right. I did not mean to do that. Because I'm going to be reading minds even more, so... That was a bit of a goof on my end, but whatever. Hope it's up well. I've signed on for the tour group called Tolby. I can't believe it's almost time for Colossal to begin. Joining the tour group is the only way to travel. What everyone needs is careful. Hey, he's a shrewd merchant if he can turn travel into a business. I'm impressed that he's got so many customers. To the basement! Everyone is going to Toby to see the colossal carnival there. Kaylee will feel so empty. I'm breaking in. We are so strong, making the finals be a piece of cake. Then, Oranos and I will fight each other for the championship. We are the toughest of all warriors. We will never lose. If you're entering the Colossal, you don't stand a chance of winning. Because this year, both of us are entering. I have power. Sean has speed. Together, we have nothing to fear. Well, hey! You got yourselves a good combination. That's good for you guys. Nothing in here? Huh. I better get ready! The Colossal Tour is about to leave! We're all going to leave Toby to see the Colosso! I hope we can visit the southern continent too! Do you know about the continent south of Tolby? No? That continent is called Gondawan. It's very large. They say that it's the second largest continent next to Angara. I hear it's very warm in Gondawan. People from the continent south of Angara have rich bronze skin. Huh. I'm pretty excited because this is my first time visiting Tolby. Let's hurry up and get going. Jesus, woman, calm down. Ooh, hello. We fled from Gondawa to the south. We lived in La Rovira, which was a great village until the Tolbians came. I fled all this way. Now I won't get in trouble for speaking the truth. How wonderful it is to be free. Okay, that sounds concerning. Laliviro, where I'm from, is the largest village in Gandawa. Kelly is quite large too, but it's all a little too noisy around there. It looks like Colossal will soon begin in Tolby. All this fuss just to go to a festival seems kind of ridiculous. Wait till you see the Radon Festival. Wait, wrong game. Okay, so Colosso. A, I'm assuming this could be like an actual tournament battle of sorts. 
hear Colossal is incredible. I'd love to see such a huge carnival. Maybe when I'm older, I'll even get to go to find Colosso. A huge mountain north of the river erupted violently. I think it was called Mount Aleph. During the volcano's eruption, odd gems and rocks fell from the sky. I wonder, can I? No. This is Lord Hammond's palace. Lords away. Please be gone. We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammond has returned. Uh, leave this to me. It is I. Uh, please permit me to see Lady Leanna. Uh, don't you recognize me? I I'm Ivan, a servant to Lord Hammond. Ivan? Oh, I didn't recognize you! You're so tan, but it really is you, Ivan! Oh, it's Ivan! You've grown so much in such a short time, Ivan! Have I really changed that much? Ah, oh, being around us, a little bit. Really? I'm surprised. It doesn't feel like it's been that long. Oh, that doesn't matter! What's important is that the thieves freed you! Please tell us, will Lord Hammond be freed soon too? Freed? Lord Hammond is a prisoner? You, you, you haven't heard? Okay, I can see we'll need to fill you in on everything. This is a private matter. Would your friends please leave? Uh... Sure... Okay. Uh, no, Isaac! There are no secrets between us. Um, very, very well then. Why were you not with Lord Hammond? I remained in vault to look for his stolen rod. Stolen? Someone stole his rod? Yes, the shaman's rod. But I was able to recover it. Then Lord Hammond must still be imprisoned in Moomba. I must report this to Lady Leona! Uh, Ivan, come see Lady Leona with me. You can explain it all to her. Isaac, you saw Lord Hammond heading north, didn't you? Yeah. That must have been when Lord Hammond went toward Lupa. Lady Leona will surely be glad to hear your tale. Uh, please come with me and tell her the full story. All right then. What is this lighting? Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, we kind of blitzed through it all, okay. When I heard that you were back, Ivan, I dared hope that Lord Hammond had returned with you. We thought Lord Hammond has been released from Lumpa too. We sent the ransom money they demanded, so he should return soon, right? What's been happening in Lumpa these days? The leadership in Lumpa passed from its founder, Lumpa, a noble thief, to his son, Dompa, and then to Lumpa's grandson. Though Dompa is a very evil man, his father, Dompa, is heartbroken at the state of Lumpa now. When did you send the ransom money? Let's see. First, the volcano erupted. And the ransom note came right after the eruption. We rushed the money to them right away. I remember it well. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Is it possible they have no intention of letting Lord Hammett go? Yeah, we gotta break in there. We gotta go save him. You think so too, Isaac? Yeah. Are you saying Dodampa won't release Hammett? Sounds like it. I agree with Ivan. If they were going to release him, they'd have done it by now. I am sorry, Lady Leona, but I think Ivan might be right. So we gotta go and rescue Lord Hammond, but I don't have the necessary tools to let me do that. What should we do? 
How can we rescue Hammond? What... What if something has happened to him? Let us handle this! My lady, this is exactly what the soldiers of Kale are here for! Yes, Lady Leanna, please let us handle this! Command us to attack, and we shall! I cannot do that. Not without thinking it over very carefully. How can we guarantee Hammett's safety if we send soldiers to attack? I cannot do it. I cannot put Hammett's life at risk. She is thinking logically, like, they can't do anything crazy. Yes? Can we do something to help? Yes? Oh, well, it's about time you started agreeing with me, Isaac. What? I've been agreeing with you! What are you two talking about? Garrett thinks that we can help. It is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives would be in danger too. Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Yes, but we can help. I thought so. I knew there had to be a reason Ivan had stayed with you. Instead of returning home directly from Val. Then what will happen to Lord Hammett? Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. We shall await for another message from Lumpa. <sighs> Lady Leona. I... I cannot leave like this. It'll be fine, Ivan. Hammond would not want to distract you from... Uh... <sighs> I apologize. I, I have said more than I should. It sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it a secret no longer. Farewell. I shall tell you. He swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. Oh? A Jupiter Adept? Is it... Have you heard of a village called Vale? Yes? You are from Vale? Really? And the prophecy was true. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Alley, Ivan must depart on a journey for with warriors from Vale. So it was foretold. I've heard nothing of any such prophecy. It happened several years before Hammett founded Kale. He was off traveling. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant man. He risked his life on a journey to find a new source of business. Okay. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world, with some adepts appear and saved his life. He had lost consciousness. When he awoke, he found himself in their village. Oh, really? Just a moment. Am I from that village? Yes. The adept gave him the shaman's rod. And you. Along with some doubloons. Doubloons? W were they golden doubloons? Yes. Uh, let's see. You are called... I am Mia, Lady Leanna. There was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. Business advice? Hammett? The greatest merchant ever known? Yes, Garrett. Hammett has the adepts to thank you for his success. Really? Whoa. I've never heard anything like that. He was advised to buy silk and shine and sell it in Toby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. There's no denying that was when Hammond picked up his knack for business. Did... Did he have to promise them anything in return? Ah, yes, Ivan. 
It's something you will need on your journey. Something we need on our journey? The Adept asked Hammond to use the Shaman's Rod to obtain it. He looked for this object wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then, three years ago, a storm struck, one that hit only Mount Aelid. Oh! Hammett was worried that time was running out. But he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That, Ivan, is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So, that must be why he left the rod in my care. But then... No, Ivan, you, you mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen. And ultimately, that's why Lord Hammond is being held in Lumpa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You can't blame yourself. That lady that we met in that village, that's, that's definitely his mom. That's definitely Ivan's mom. There's, there's, it, it's, 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 it's right there. Hammett took Ivan in, raised him as his own, all while he did not know who his real mom was. Oh. But what will happen to Hammett? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Kayleigh. Continue on your journey and do not worry about Hammett. I'm gonna. I'm sorry I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. That's why I can't sell it. It's extremely important. No. Don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find that thing we need for our quest, right? Will you look for it? Well, yeah. If Isaac says we will, then there's nothing to worry about. Take care of yourselves. Return to your posts, everyone. Dodampa is a very shrewd man. He may have sent spies into Kale. We can't risk sending our soldiers yet. Is this the right decision to handle? Am I making a mistake? Well. Ooh. Butler! Lady Leona was crying again last night. I wish there was something I could do. Leona is putting up a strong front whenever people are around. It's so hard to see her like this. Well. Well, that's their bedchambers. I should probably not be in here. Look at me, intruding upon a lady's room. I seem to do that a lot in certain games that let me do it. The townsfolk don't know about Lord Hammond yet, do they? I'm sure the villagers would panic if they knew Hammond was a hostage. We must be sure we do not show it. Yeah. Lord Hammond will be released soon, right? Sure! I hope so, otherwise Leona will be overwhelmed by sorrow. Everyone's worried about Lord Hammett, but no one can talk about it openly. If he isn't free, it'll mean the end of Kale. Oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. Nut! Oh, bookshelf. There's a book entitled The Good Host. Attending to detail is a key to good hospitality. Yes? Yes? Merchants are supposed to be protected under the laws of Vanguard. So Dampa must be truly able to break their law. Well, yeah, because evil people don't care about the law. And to think, I almost went on that caravan with Hammett. Has the legacy of Lord Hammett's silk trading come to an end? No! You're right. I should never have said that. I feel terrible now. Lord Hammond is a legend among merchants. Kayleigh can't survive without him. Bookcase! There's a book entitled Business and You. Trust between two people is all important for a successful business. 
Well, yeah, if you're doing actual business, trust is like a key factor for a lot of good stuff. Water jacket. What's that do? Resist water and fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Uh, give it to him. Why? Because, well, having more synergy points is gonna be more beneficial in my opinion. Which makes me realize I kind of wasted my money getting that new armor, but. Oh, well. Well, guys, I feel like that's probably a good place for me to stop for right now. Mostly because I'm not entirely sure what I should do next. I can't go to Loompa to save Hammett because, again, I need something that can let me be, I guess, stealthy. Something that can let me hide from the guards that are at that one last checkpoint so I can sneak in. But I don't have access to that yet. And now, I'm debating, like, should I make my way back all the way over to the water tower to get that healing water and give that to Isaac's mom? Or is that just a waste of time for me? Regardless, uh, I'll try to figure that out next time I record this. So, if you all like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all oh so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Oh my god, Isaac's HP is high.